Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nevstack, but today I want to do another or a follow-up part two review of the TP-Link AX1800 dual band Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi 6. Now, since I reviewed this, I've reviewed probably about 15 other routers, and I got a good idea of what we're looking for, and I got some good ideas for other benchmarks that I did not run before. So let's just get into this, folks. First up, I want to do a direct system-to-system -system transfer. Now, the computers I'm about to take this to both have Wi-Fi 6 cards in it, and I'm going to hook directly up to the TP-Link via Wi-Fi AX, and I'm expecting better speeds than 26 megabytes a second. Okay, so once again, I got line of sight to the router. This is my Alexandrian backup where I keep all my files on. This is where I uh, do all my work. I'm going to transfer from one directly to the other. One thing I want to point out is the TP-Link, unlike the D-Link, doesn't manage what you connect to. It isn't an automatic connect and shift. You either log on to the 5G or you log on to the 4G. There are a lot of services that will decide for you how to do it but i prefer it when you do it this way because then i know exactly how it's working and we look down here we can see the band that it put itself in now the thicker the band channel the faster things can go but if you go over other bands then that's not good you can be within other bands but you can't cross the streams remember don't cross the streams the more bands that you're on the better but some of the things you connect to don't work with other bands they, they 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 only go up so high channels sorry i didn't mean bands i meant channels well this is curious i'm only making between 10 and uh, about 20 megabytes a second that's strange i expected it to be more all right, just to verify that I'm on AX, I've gone into the settings, and I'm going to set it to AX only. No, about the same, about the same. It's just curious, because I got this Asus AC router that can get up to 30 megabytes a second. I don't know why nothing else can do it. I mean, the AX D-Links always seem to make at least 20. I was transferring the same file at at least 20 with that the new D-Link Exos I mm, it, like like it's not a slow speed it, it's still pretty fast but still once again I've gotten better at an AC and I'm trying to figure out why oh uh, yeah that's what I want to see a new firmware upgrade let's see how this does yeah that really didn't help too much anyways one thing I noticed is that I was kind of screwing up a little bit on the um, I showed you the 2.4 band this is the 5 band and um, yeah it looks like I'm definitely sharing it I wonder if I can change where I am here and see if that helps us at all okay so I went in I told it to use AX only I uh, told it to automatically switch bands and okay so it switched uh, sorry channels it switched channels to a lower channel but at the same time it definitely hurt the transfer rate so once again something that's probably better off not to be messed with i was getting up to about 11 megabytes now nah, there it goes there it goes lower than what it was though of course next up we're going to speed test the gigabit hardwire ethernet see how fast we can really make it go okay so hardwired is about 60 megabytes a second 65 megabytes a second that's pretty good oh yeah going up to 70 that's what i like to see ladies that's the sexy stuff oh yeah i'm finished okay check out these speeds i've managed to achieve here my alexandrian backup is hardwired and the system that I'm transferring to right now is using AX. So with wireless AX on one side and hardwired on the other, I'm making almost 60 megabytes a second. And that is awesome through the Wi-Fi. That is awesome. So this unit is definitely powerful. I mean, the Wi-Fi is better on this than it is on a hardwired fast internet. That's uh, 100 megabits which comes to about uh, 12 megabytes. This thing transfers better than that. Like you, that's right, you. 
I'm talking about you. I just bought this. I thought that it was a, uh, I thought it was gigabit. But as you can see up here, 10 slash 100. That's what they call technically fast internet. And uh, it's not fast <laughs> at all. I mean, it's fast if you just want to print things or something. Anyways, over here I got my gigabit unit, but it's old, probably like 20 years old. And then I bought this to replace it with, but yeah, it's not gigabit. It's just 10 slash 100 or fast. And the AX bandwidth is faster than this thing is hardwired. The AX wireless is faster than this, and I can still buy this stuff new. And they call it business solution still. What's going on there? There's a lot to be said about that. Actually got gigabit cables. In the end, for your gaming, you, you don't even want wireless. You don't, you don't want wireless at all. AX, you don't want any of that. Uh, you want the hard wire. Cat 5, Cat 6, Cat 7, maybe that's what that's what you're after so for gaming there is no wi-fi that's good for gaming you gotta hardwire it but it's good it's good and it's fast it's not as fast as uh what is it the ac8 1800 from asus that was an ac but still not bad i can't complain it's good for the money it's definitely good for the money check out my link in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself that helps me out quite a bit anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for me and from that's tech bits like and subscribe if you like this stuff leave a comment if you think i've missed something and uh, i always appreciate it. i always appreciate learning new things too anyways take care of each other folks